Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is no longer a Disney broadcast, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the guns out. Let's get into it, Hank. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> so, last match of the day. And it's going to be the Chengdu Hunters versus the Seoul Dynasty. I feel like it's been ages since we got to cast Chengdu. Uh, we, we've needed this for a while now. I think it's just because we love Chengdu so yeah, much that it, yeah. it's like, oh, we didn't get them every game in a row. It always feels like ages at that point in time. But yeah, it, it's an interesting team. They just beat San Francisco, of all teams, the Chengdu Hunters. They're, they're able to beat these top teams by throwing curveballs at them. And then Seoul obviously needs this one to get into the Stage 3 playoffs. That's the big thing. They are still in the running. Take a look at the standings here. Dancing on the edge with Destiny. Eighth place, Hex Dynasty. They need this win. They need all the Ws, and they need it to be a clean versus one of the most, well, let's say chaotic teams to go up against in terms of just straight, like, what are they going to throw at us? Yeah, but they also still will run a 3-3 on it. Amon's Reinhardt has been pretty good, and they're running a lot of Sombra Ana. I think they ran it a lot last time against San Francisco mm -hmm. and had like a 65% win rate. But you look across the board at this Chengdu Hunters team, and they have a lot of just individual talents everywhere. And yeah, they throw different stuff at you. But what's been interesting about Chengdu is that they're able to play standard against you as well. They've run 3-3. We used to think of Amon as a one-trick wrecking ball, but now his Reinhardt has been super good. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to expect from this Chengdu team, and now Soul's also going through some changes as well. It's true, actually, now that you mention it. Last time we were casting Soul, they were just changing up left and right. Full roster switches. Uh, let's go ahead and get our first team out onto the stage, then. It will be the Chengdu Hunters. Usually no switch ups in this roster when they start out here. Evil Tall has been very, very good on that Lucio. And the environmental kills coming in big and perhaps one of the best Pharahs in the league, although Ding probably has surpassed him. You see Jinmu at the end. Jinmu has been playing a lot of Pharah throughout yes. this stage, throughout this season, really. Yes. Uh, Chengdu just, even when everyone was running 3-3, they said, nah, we're gonna invent our own meta. And they made it work. They're, they've had a tough schedule, but they're still in it for the overall season, out of it for stage three, however. So, now we need to get their opponents out onto the stage. Hex, we're gonna bring to the stage the Soul Dynasty. Reppin' 82, I'm in Soul City. Riding down the streets, got my homies with me. Pull up in a rover, steady watching over. Keep it wild, honey, yellow. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Spiral Cats, the actual cosplayers, they are here to rep the Soul Dynasty. You see it, the colors already, Hex. Yeah, very famous cosplayers, got Soul Dynasty inspired cosplay. Here comes the team, and you never know which guys are gonna come out of the tunnel in the Soul Dynasty jerseys, but uh, it's definitely gonna be Marvel, as Fisher has been a due to the Soul Dynasty squad. And uh, yeah, it's just up to the coaching of who is going to play in any given set. Those are some really well done cosplays. I'll give them that. That is top notch. Sick work. Cool to have here in the studio live in Los Angeles with us for this match. Soul Dynasty hanging in it. Yeah, so it looks like Hailey and Jexe are going to be at your starters here as well. Michelle Marvel, Fleta Fitz. Yeah, like I said, it could not mean any more for Seoul. They need to get into stage three playoffs here. And also, you know, as we get through stage three, we gotta look at season standings coming up as well eventually. So this is the starting six, and they're just gonna keep us guessing. And they're gonna keep production guessing too, because this takes a little bit of time to build these graphics. When Seoul show up with the entire new six, production <laughs> yeah. are back there a little frazzled, like, oh God, what do we gotta do here? Quick, quick. Get the graphic going. Well, I don't think they're going to put in a new six today, as I said, because Marvel will be their main tank for the most part. Fissure is gone. He's off the roster. He's going into that streamer life now. And Amon versus Marvel is going to be an interesting matchup today because Amon is not just a one-trick Hammond player anymore. He's, he's had amazing Reinhardt play. I mean, uh, we saw glimpses of it way back when, when they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vancouver, when everyone thought Bumper was the best tank of the world. But, you know... Pretty solid stuff on Reinhardt as far as damage goes and final blows. Yeah, Marvel just doing crazy work right there. First out of 20 players. That's not yeah. too shabby considering the level of competition we have here in the league. Now, we did a, a segment earlier explaining what a pocket is, and it just means devoting resources to one person. Yes. Both of these main tanks get some of the highest resource devotion in the entire league. Healing per 10, like over 15,000 for both of these main tanks. Oh, that's kind of the name of the game here. Presented by Toyota, our map set. We will have the four maps. Minimum, we'll see if we need a fifth one. Between these two teams, could go the distance, Hex. But Ilios will be kicking us off here. Our control map. 
Yeah, Ilios, always very fun, especially if you like Lucio play, environmental kills. And, uh, you know, Control is one of those maps that you can see the Chengdu specials on. This particular round of oh. Ilios, not so much. Most teams like to run a 3-3 here. And a lot of this is also going to come down to the Sombra play. Uh, Elsa has improved and improved and improved. And it seems like Soul wants to run the Sombra play as well. Amon on the classic Wrecking Ball. Yeah, I mean, he's living up to his strengths. He's going to get a little bit chaotic here. I like it. Just roll his way through. He turns out he just doesn't want to stand there and stare angri angrily through a shield at Marvel. He wants to get into the thick of things, Hex. He's rolling around on the edges, but there we go. The Whammy Slam straight over the top gets the shield as well. And that opens it up. Marvel getting deleted. Really tough to win a fight once your main tank goes down because there's nothing to block the damage coming in from all those sources, especially the Zenyatta. It's one of the other differences in these compositions. Zenyatta for Chengdu, whereas Hylia will play the Ana. Ana Sombra has been the flavor of the last couple of weeks. It has, I mean, that's for a while now, there's Korea. They they were talking about it for a bit that everybody was on Sombra before it was even touched here in Overwatch Ooh. League. Seems like Overwatch League is starting to catch up to the things. Highly uh, not going to survive it for long. Two kills coming through. Evil Tall snatching both of them, but uh, he gets the credit, Hex, but the others are doing the work. Yeah, two opening kills for the Chengdu Hunters and two one team fights, 30% and counting up as they are in control. And Chengdu loves this high ground more than I've ever loved anything. They always get up here when they have these kind of compositions. They love raining right above the other team. That's sick for Amon. He just drops right into the middle of them, gets that max shield. You're not gonna you're gonna have a lot of trouble dealing with him. And there he goes, surprise! Hamster just like right in the doorway. It's a horror show here. Soul Dynasty. They are gonna wrap onto the point. They're going to force the Chungu Hunters to play their game. That's a big EMP over the top. Jinmu going to get focused down, but that's like, it seems like it's all that Soul are gonna get because Keo did get the trance. Yeah, but they got a hack onto Elsa, so he's unable to translocate out. They do end up tossing in, Chengdu does. They throw the grab in last second. An ambitious grab will actually get them nothing. Die on the point is the call made now as you just try to stall out for some time. Be about 74 by the time this takes off. Ah, I was so close, 73. You're close. You had the timing, dude. You were, you were nearly there. But that's why Sombra is so good in these compositions. You can use very little resources and win team fights. Fit's already gonna be at nearly 70% again, a very quick charge rate. And now Chengdu, after throwing in that grab for really no good reason at the end, is kind of behind it in this next fight. You might want to do what you call an eco push. Go in and die, don't use anything, come back for it better for the next fight. Yeah, they were hoping for it. They got somewhat there. There is going to be a massive EMP thrown in here by Elza, and they're going to eliminate Marvel. Marvel overwhelmed immediately. Two kills coming through for Chengdu. They don't believe in the eco push, Hanks. They're just going to go ahead and get it done dirty. Well, you know, eco push is a term that dates back a long time towards a lot of games. Also dates back before Sombra existed, because Sombra <laughs> does have one of those ultimates that you can just straight up win a team fight if uh, you get a good EMP off. Call it the no fun allowed ult. <laughs> that takes that. You're just slamming buttons and nothing's coming out, and you die. Uh, EMP on the other side now catches two, but a nice barrier from Evil Talk. It's everybody healthy. That was solid work, good timing there. They are just taking the fight to him, 97% and counting, but Soul Dynasty finding the kills, dropping three on the side of the Hunters, and that is the Hunters getting wiped. So Soul Dynasty, they hit a bit of a bump in the road there. It wasn't as clean as they were hoping for. It is still the Chunker Hunters getting up to 99, but Soul retake control. One fight away here for the Hunters, and they are going to have the tools they need to win it. Nano Boost can go onto any of your tanks, might even do it on a Brigida in this situation as both of your tanks are at their ultimate abilities, Graviton and Shatter Up. And with no Divas on either side, these grabs should be finding purchase. Oh, I love this from Soul. They just take it to him. Yeah, they know. They know. They have a read on the situation. They know they can't let the Hunters get set up. So let's get aggressive. But you take that fight to him in the hopes that Fitz can get a lot of damage going in that fight so that he can get up towards his next EMP. Also, he's still going to be poking in the back line. It's not inconceivable that he can get this last 20% on his charge before the next fight happens. Hack onto Keo. That's what I was waiting for. Who's going to make the move first? As Michelle is going to find it. Keo overwhelmed. Quad kill coming in for Aemong, though. But they get wiped anyway. Michelle, this is the one you wanted to take out. It's Zarya v Zarya. Michelle's getting beamed down. Is this real? YXL somehow brings it back in there. 
Chengdu is in such a rough spot. They got a huge anti-Anu. This one's not over by any means. We're going 99-99, but Soul has made mass switches just to get out of the point. Exactly. They do not have the ideal scenario set up here. Elsa nearly gets picked immediately, but there's a Nano thrown out by Keo. And this fight should heavily favor the Hunters. They've actually got a working team. Soul Dynasty, they just cobbled it together. They're getting rolled, Hex. Anti-heal on a Marvel and Jax A won't mean that's all she wrote for our first round of Ilios. And that okay. was a slobber knocker. All right, that's cool. Then we turn it into, a, you go through the whole thing and then you get a 1v1 Zarya fight. <laughs> And it's RXL who wins it for the Hunters and gets it done. Uh, well done there. Who bubbles last, really? Get all that energy, try to beam down the other person's bubble, and you know, you're know you getting the trade-off of, yes, I'm going to crack the bubble, but they're getting all this energy, and where's the health pools? It's a very interesting chess game that goes on there. But at the end of it, on the most standard of rounds on Ilios, Chengdu's able to pull it off. Yep, they got the job done, and they take the lead on this map. One point for the Hunters, Soul Dynasty. Probably scratching their heads after that one. But then at the same time, just shake it off. Shake it off. It could have gone either way. It was the finest of margins. You are competitive in this series. So if you are soul right now, you're looking to take the fight to the Hunters. And here we go. This is a bit of a change coming through. I like to see Fitz on the Hanzo. And we got a bit of McCree play here. It is going to be McCree v McCree as well. Bunkers on both sides. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes. Halts can be so important here. Shield cracking also so important. So it's a little bit different. Soul has a little bit better of an advantage as far as cracking the shields because Storm Arrow is so good and fits us on that Hanzo. But that was a spicy one. That could have been a volley straight to the face. Highly doing good work over there. But the Hunters right now, they're going to lose their main tank and that will certainly hurt the setup. Soul Dynasty going to get first control on the point. It's just all about the shield pressure. And since Soul is not running a Brigida and instead are running the Hanzo, they're able to burn down that shield so quickly Gets the cleanup kills. Now Fitz is nearing a dragon, but we do see changes on the other side. Amon gets off the Orisa, he's onto the Wrecking Ball. You don't really want to be an Orisa when the other team has a Hanzo, especially a Hanzo dragon. Yeah, you fully changed it up now. We no longer have the McCree, we will have the Zarya back in play. This is all about Soul Dynasty now, just withstanding the pressure. Because Soul. If they keep this hard point defense, it could still be solid, but you can see them having to rotate around. This is all about buying time now, except that there you go. You got Wrecking Ball right in the mix, trying to just throw them out of whack, trying to throw Soul Dynasty out of position. The Dragon thrown through the back line, hoping to connect with Amok perhaps, but it doesn't do the work. All right, well, Fitz still doing work. YXL will fall shortly after. A bunch of changes had come through for Chengdu, but they made changes because they didn't have control of the point, and now they're in a more aggressive posturing composition. Yeah, this is going to be wholesale coming out from Soul as well, isn't it? Yeah, Pleta switches off of McCree. Fitz goes over to that. Marvel is going to opt for the Winston, though. You know, a standard tank, not Hammond. Not a lot of people in the league are super comfortable playing Hammond. We got an artist, a Hammond artiste in the form of Amon, but the mine's right over the door. Hello, surprise, you're all gonna go boom. Or barrier out. Yeah, Dexy, ah, oh, the barrier's there though, you're right. Dexy manages to get that up, and so we will have the sound barrier there to protect the Hunter, or no, the Soul Dynasty, as the Hunters are the ones taking the beating. Ableton goes down. This is gonna help things here for the Hunters, but they are game for the fight. They are not giving up. Still going toe to toe. Oh, uh, Hunters have been in control of the point this entire time. Long dies again. He was so close to grab as well. Forced out barrier. Oh, that was the barrier getting thrown in. Marvel now, he's going to be the one. He's got, he just worked his way up to that primal so quickly because of how that fight worked and how everybody was stacked up on top of each other. He's just cleaving away. Happy as could be. Double jump there. It's just about stalling out again for the Hunters as they're going to hear. 75% still on the point. That's why Ilios is so strange, especially at this point. So big, so hard to fully wipe a team off of it. Oh, 84% and counting now for the Hunters. Soul Dynasty, they take control. So we'll see how far they can get. The Hunters within that one fight range now. All right, we have Graviton Surge and Minefield up. You don't see it very often. Oh. But a space hamster is what I'm gonna call it would be wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful to see right now. Get them all grabbed, get an angle, pile drive with a ton of damage early on, and then drop it. But Hylee's gonna have Transcendence momentarily. There it is. Spaghettify them. Let's see if it works, because 
Dodge got along. He's now he's keeping eyes on Michelle. If he can get the D-Mac, that would have been big, but he knows that the D-Matrix isn't there. Crab goes in, looking for the mines over the top. Flana goes up and uh, that's it. This is going to be the counter grab thrown in here on the other side. Soul Dynasty striking right back. Uh, the counter grab comes in and there's nothing to stop the self-destruct. No way. Does he actually manage to get it? No. Getting caught in the corner. There we go. Chucked off the side. Well, somehow again, during all that, chung -Yu took control of the point. I think it was during the Graviton early on where they pulled him off the point. So now they're at 99. 85 was what they entered in on, which is not always a one-fight situation. But the problem is the chung -Yu Hunters emptied their piggy bank. They've got nothing left to work with. They're going to be pushing into a rally and a sound barrier. So Soul is in a great defensive spot. And again, Soul trying to do exactly the same thing. Get aggro. First point, get aggro. Get crazy and just run right in there. Amon's on the point, so he's gonna be there to contest at least. This is still a fight that favors Soul Dynasty. They've done the damage. Kyo's out now as well. That's not gonna help things here for the Hunters. They, we are looking at a tied situation unless the Soul Dynasty really figure out how to throw it. This should be them under control. We do get the sound barrier here for the Hunters. Elsa doing the best he can to survive. There's the grab thrown in. Brought in, just get rid of them at this point. Uh, Jinmu somehow lives, never mind, spoke too soon, gets plunked down there, and that should be just about all she wrote for Chengdu on this second round here. And I love this from Soul. You saw it on the first round and it didn't necessarily work, but the second round it worked a little bit better. Chengdu Hunters are in an initiative kind of composition, a chaos comp. They want to be the ones who bring the fight to you. Yes. They, want to, they want to start it with a pile driver, they want to follow up, they want to get on flanks, but Soul just decides we're not going to let you do that. Every time Soul had a small advantage, they took the fight towards the Hunters, to the Hunters, and were able to win those fights more often than not. Indeed they were. I, uh, that is showing what it, the Soul Dynasty are capable of. And again, just how close it was on the first point. This time, it goes Soul's way. So now, on the third and final one, it's the Lighthouse, and the battle's gonna be taking place in this room right here. This is the point that they're gonna be Five, fighting over, and four, look at that view. Three. That's a few where a lot of players, this is the last thing they see. So they get chucked off the side there by the Lucios, by the Brigidas. Could be worse. So, uh, or, you know, by the Faras, perhaps. We got double Farah play here. Michelle and Jinmu. And Jinmu, he's no slouch when it comes to the Farah. Yeah, somewhat similar DPS compositions to Farah, Mercy's pharmacies in the sky. But Soul is running the Widow to try to counter this. Meanwhile, you've got a Diva on the other side. Sombras for both teams. Uh, there was a day, exactly, exactly. There was a day when Fleta dominated on the Widow. Two quick kills for Fleta, and that's gonna put the Hunters on blast. I get a headshot there too in party, why not? At one time, he was regarded as the best Widowmaker in the Overwatch League. Didn't get to play it as much this year so far, so he's gotta be smiling. Got him off the brig duty. He's out of the brig, so to speak. He's out of the brig, exactly. He's up in the sky. Wind blowing through his hair. And now you got Michelle just locking rockets in there. Let's see. Well, Flynn has got Infrasight. He doesn't have to hold it because there's no opposing Diva. So any, or no opposing Widow, excuse me. So anytime that he wants to find out where that Sombra is, he can just hit Q, pops it now. Oh. Well, it was first control for Soul. That continues. Direct rocket onto Flynn though. But he goes ahead and strikes right on back. If it's not, you're going to just go ahead and Die off the side. There's that final view for you. And Soul Dynasty continue to hold tactical crouching from Fleta. Why not? 40% of counting Hex. This is looking good. Well, not if you're a Hunters fan, it is not. Now here are the switches that I was expecting to see. I did not think that they were on the right composition to begin with. But Elsa goes over to the Sombra, which uh, Yang Zhou Long had previously been on. Yang Zhou Long's going to have to try to deal with his Widow. I didn't think the Devo was going to get you any value. It did not. And now we have Jinmu going to the Tracer as well. If you're going to make changes, now is the time. Just go full value. Get that Wombo combo. Tracer Sombra. And yep, Elsa's is going to find Fleta. But there's Michelle just getting it. Oh, we only gets the one. We'll survive. Instantly put to sleep. But you lose your Mercy in the mix. And that's not going to help things. The parting direct rocket onto Kyo. That'll do some work. But we're at 72% for Soul. Among is on the point right now, forcing Soul to be honest. Yeah, he's trying to get something done, and he puts Fitz in a bad spot. Yang Zhou Long able to capitalize on it. That's awkward. That's just painted into a corner. Where do you go? Yeah, Marvel gets Nano. It's going to clear out everything on the points. This is getting desperate for Chengdu, and they've shown almost no signs of life in this third and final round. Uh, it's getting a bit chaotic, and you would think this is where they thrive. This is where it would be their time to shine, but instead, they're struggling mightily. Michelle has just been running amok with the Farah. 
And then you still have Fleta. As soon as you poke your nose out into the open, he's ready to take it off. There's the shot. That's why XL and yeah, Keo is going to find the follow up. But there are still a pair here on the point. Soul Dynasty, the Fleta is just going to be able to delay things forever if he's got Jexy there to pocket him. Mines are going in, but that's fine. Yeah, Amon's been alone on this point for a very long time. It's because Soul decides that they don't need to deal with him. They'll kill everybody else. They'll come back and deal with you at 99%. There it is. Soul Dynasty. We'll Soul Dynasty. Our first map. And they even have that is their Soul Dynasty theme song. So check it out. But that is the lead. The ideal start here for Soul Dynasty versus the Chengdu Hunters. The Chengdu Hunters, though, showing that they've still got claws. We'll see how it all plans out right after this. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile, now connecting 99% of Overwatch League fans. Catch your league on America's network, T-Mobile. Welcome back from the break, ladies and gentlemen. The Soul Dynasty find success on the first map of this series. Two to one. They had to work for it, Hex, but they yep. got the job done. Ran Chengdu into Chengdu. Usually doesn't work out for teams, but Soul hasn't figured out. And like I said, this one, they need it. They need it to get into the Stage 3 playoffs. They made the Stage playoffs earlier this year and ended up pulling off a great upset mm -hmm. uh, against NYXL. So this team has all the potential in the world. Sometimes they come out there and I, you know, lay, lay an egg, but I think they're... I don't know if their plans to keep running very different lineups are still in the mix now that they've lost players. Right, right. I yeah, wonder that if might have thrown a wrench in they might be trying to find their starting six, their best six. Maybe you have some specialist play. Maybe Jahan comes in on certain maps or something like that because you don't really want to lose that leadership that he provides. So Soul is still trying to figure things out, but I don't know. Figure things out in the stage three playoffs would be nice. Exactly, Hex. That's the name of the game here. They are still in the running for it. Right on the edge, eighth position right now in the stage three standings. And so we move into our second map. This is Assault. Two points to be captured. First one, there's a pigeon. And then the second one to follow. Yeah, if Soul does pull this off, it's going to be so crazy. The stage three standings, if you got less than five wins out of seven, you're out. You got to go five and two to get into the stage playoffs. And then you might not even make it because, hey, yeah. Map differential. You might not have been. They might not have been clean enough. Oh, it's just been so difficult this stage. So many good teams rising up. A lot of the mid tier rising up to the top with the best, uh, best three in the league. All right. Defensively, Soul's gonna go at it again. Fleta on the widow. A fair mercy in the sky and a sombra. All sorts of fun. And the hunter is going wholesale here. Okay. Yeah, I like this. This is shield crack. Entirely about shield crack right now. You get the Roadhog and you get the Hanzo. The opposing Orisa should not have the shield up time that you do. Yep, just crack it. Get it done. Oh, the halt and the hook. There we go. Fleta yanked into oblivion. And that's an excellent start now for the Hunters. I mean, there is a possibility of a res, but it's going to be so tough and actually it's just not going to happen at all. They aren't even going to attempt it. 
Oh! Instead, you can just go ahead and remove the Mercy. That solves the problem as well. YXL is just running game on him at this point. This is a perfect take for the Hunters. Unreal! Yeah. Dynasty just got wiped out! He's really coming to his own on this roster. It used to be pretty telegraphed of when they were going to run Widow because I think they'd bring Bacon Jack in. But YXL, a little bit deeper of a pool here, able to uh, really hit the shots there. And I just really love the composition switch of knowing that they're just running an Orisa without a Bastion. Right. And they, so you scout it, and then you're like, okay, well, let's just switch to everything that cracked shields. If you saw that first shields, from Marvel just died instantly. And that's an Arisa shield. Those don't die instantly. Oh, they're on such short cooldowns too. That's the whole thing. You nailed it, Hex. You nailed it. Let's see. Full switch. Wholesale. And it was so quick as well. It's not exactly like, oh no, the, the ult game. I mean, you are going to have fits with an EMP. You would love to win this fight without an EMP if at all possible, because then you know you're going to probably be behind, because you've made a ton of switches yourself if you're sold out of Got the EMP now. They'll be waiting right under him. Yep, sure enough. They push onto the point, they get completely obliterated. Yep. All right, so now what's the game plan here for the Hunters? Is it just going to be rinse, repeat until yeah, you Yeah, you kind of have to do it again. I, and you were expecting this. You were expecting that to happen. The worst case scenario for Chengdu is you go in and you die without forcing out that EMP, which you know that they very likely have. So now it's just about getting your economy up in a decent spot as well, and eventually find the window where you feel you have the economic advantage, you feel you have the ultimate advantage, and you go in. They captured first so quickly that they're not really in a time crunch here. No, exactly. Plenty of time on the clock. Five and a half minutes. It's a lifetime hex. We could have another one where it goes back and forth. Fitz getting deleted immediately, though. That's not too shabby. Marvel, he survives the nade. Masterful nade thrown in by Hylie, though. He really put the pressure on the Hunters without the ability to heal. We'll drop two. Among and Evil Tell out of it. And the Hunters having to back off. And really, the name of the game here is just get back to spawn ASAP. But well, that means die and just die. Yeah, sure enough, that's what they're going to do. So this is the window that the Hunters were fighting for right now, because they're going to have every ultimate online that they want, any sort of significant ultimate. So they're going to have EMP, which should start with EMP and a Shatter. Yangzhou Long should be able to get there as well. You could Nano one of these tanks if you feel they really need the support. But this is your window. You've counted ultimates from Soul Dynasty. You've tracked their ultimates, and you know this is your best time to fight on Paris. You gave up two fights on purpose. Well, not necessarily on purpose, but knowing it was going to happen. Everything is done with purpose here. Hex says the grab gets thrown in, and they're going for the cleave. Already, YXL signs. Now it's the time to go for the grab. It's going to find success. Two kills already. Soul Dynasty. It needs to be a bit cleaner than this, though. With this many still alive for Soul, they could still contest and bleed time off this clock. But that's one tick picked up. Two ticks picked up for the Hunters. And oh. it looks like it could just be three. They got the job done in one. The fight right before they got on the point was huge. Jexay got stunned at 96%, which means he can't shoot the last couple of rounds he needs to get Barrier to keep his team alive. A huge stun there. Oh, that's painful. Brigida, getting work done. We'll be right back. Coca-Cola is the official refreshment of the Overwatch League.
Not wasting any time here, Hex. To get the hammer in play, we get YXL on the junk. The rat is gonna be here, but then Elsa Definitely. on the Torb, you're... Yeah, th I mean, it's just Chengdu, it's just Chengdu. Well, Bren was going to go face to face with Defran in the Widowmaker 1v1 in Atlanta. Instead, he's gonna go against Baby Babe because Defran has other obligations. By popular request, he will be doing a Hammer Torb 1v1 versus Mangachu. Put it on the list. Saturday, it's the Widowmaker 1v1. Sunday, Mangachu versus Fran, Torb Hammer. You did it, Reddit. You did it. Congrats. Yeah. Now, let's see. Can Soul Dynasty do it, Hex? We're going to have Farah up, uh, up again. We're going to have the Hanzo for the shields. We're going to have the Fleta for the headshots. What are we thinking? Well, I mean, the Junkrat's usually really good when people want to try to run tanks at you and go through this choke, but. Almost everyone on Soul has some kind of mobile aspect to them. Uh, nice yoink. I like it. Good angles so being used here by Hunters as well. Not giving Fleta a free shot. Solid work. They are going to rotate back around. He would love to take a pot shot. Oh, we might just get blown up. Unbelievable. Yeah. Amma got nuked, but Aye. then F Fitz and Fleta just got deleted there. They're gone. Wow, there's going to be a resurrection on Fleta. I don't think that Evil Tall has his res available. He used one very early on. So this means Amon's going to come back on the Hammond. Maxwell's got to be very careful here. Yeah, Jin move. He is getting pocketed. He is yeah. getting that support, but he's looking for the kill. There it is. Great pounce. And Mog and Fleta working together, but YXL in the meantime, he was having a long duel there with Marvel, and it looks like he lost out. Uh, Fair and Mercy were able to collapse on the back line, so now they can at least fly around with impunity, knowing that there's no Widowmaker threat. And with Michelle, though. Yeah, oh, oh there it is. Is he gonna confirm the kill? He will. Gets it. Oh, with the direct on Evil Tall afterwards. Michelle making plays happen right now. It's uh, still looking like they're going to be Yeah, it's just the, the one kill on the Marvel, but that's not too significant here. Cleanup just starting to happen for Souls. They try to find the remainder of the targets. So it will be annoying, but only for a moment. Now the big question is, does Soul switch off of this? I think without the ultimates for Barrage, that maybe you do? But EMP's coming up. I think Michelle might switch. Might be wholesale switches, yeah. There's only a few teams that will stick on to these damage healing compositions going into second point. Apparently, Soul is not going to be one of them. Even Amon has to make a full switch. So this is actually very, very good for Soul. Mostly because they have the better hacker right now. Sombra with an EMP for Soul. Nothing. Single digits across most of the board for Chengdu. It's going to be very quick. They're doing a very good job of being split up, but they might show themselves here. Yeah, three, four, out into the open. There's four. Only for an instant, though. They're going to force them to fight on the point. That's the point of rotating around in that courtyard. There it is. I'm on instant, but that's expected with him out in the open. He's just going to get hung out to dry. Elsa's in this one-on-one -on -one duel with Fitz, who eventually gets that. So two ticks picked up. Unreal. They just go right in. It's almost gifted to them. They're three alive for Hunters. Uh, Yang Zhao Long and Jinmu both got hacked and they backed up, waiting to re-engage, and the engage never came. The engage never came. Is this communication? I mean, we've seen this happen in the past where teams, nobody actually steps forward to contest, but that's unreal. We're taking a break, and we'll be right back with the second half. Quick offense here for both of these teams. They have just gone crashing through, and that's not something we, we often see on Paris. Because like this is one of those assault maps where it can get kind of drawn out. It can be difficult to get in there and get the job done. But both of these teams have proven that uh, you don't need a, a defense when you can 
have an exceedingly effective offense. It's the, the best defense is a good offense. That's so it's something along I've those heard lines. That, I've heard that before somewhere. <laughs> uh, I think it's the other way around. But regardless, it looks like these teams are going to stay on the compositions which they ran in the first part of it. So, Fair Mercy and a Widow. Let's see if they stick on this. All right, yeah, going right back to the Shield Crack composition for Chengdu. Storm Arrow goes in, alternate fires from the Roadhog, and the Shield melts. That same plan. Going through. Oh, that could be a big one. Playing with fire. YXL, though, this time they do actually lose out on some of the players, and Hylie's gonna go down. Where is Jexay position? Jexay trying to get back there. Gets halted out of position, though. Not gonna be able to. Or barely could get the res off. Yeah. Well, that's a trade oh, you no, take that was no matter a what. One. Even if you didn't get that resurrection off, that's a trade you always make. You take the Ana off the other side. That's so much healing. It's just a Mercy. But Mercy's supposed to be mostly dedicated to keeping Michelle alive in the sky. And now you have to split up your attention. That's an enormous first kill. Uh, Flat up chiming in on his side of things, looking for it. Not the wrong target there for Keo, but still, who's gonna get up here to contest? It's going to be the first one, Marvel, trying to stomp his way into this fight. Going to get deleted. Keo right now is having a field day. Such a good game for him. Somehow he's still alive, takes a breather, yep. And they continue to make progress. It's just delay now. Fitz will go down. Jexe has ambitions, but it's not gonna be enough as they are able to take Michelle out of the sky. But, you know, use them if you got them, because Zol will very likely be switching off of this comp. Sans Fitz, though. Fitz will stay on the Sombra, of course. Oh, uh, look, a moment of hesitation where they're trying to decide if they were going to switch up the comps. Had some decent alts, but not enough to use, really. Yeah, they have to wait for Jinmu. Jinmu got bad spawns, so he spawned before they captured the point, so he was running all the way back from first spawns. Going to slow them down a little bit. But this is exactly the same as the first couple of rounds between these teams. Chengdu knows they're going to lose this fight. They should know that they're in a bad spot to win this fight anyway, but you want to get the EMP out at least. And But that's the thing. That's one detail perhaps that's interesting about it is that Fitz is oh. think he's obliging them. Why, yeah. why is Fitz obliging them? Like well, giving him the EMP if that's what they want. Yeah, I guess he's gonna be able to charge it up again. Quick? He's been charging it very quickly as well, and you just—if if you can have a chance to win a fight straight up, you just take that chance. And also, I think that that fight was not that great to take in the courtyard because what you would like to do is bait them in, get the EMP, then let everyone else on your team charge up off of these EMP targets, sure. so that you get—you roll it into a bigger advantage since you both just switched. That's the how EMP turns into the bigger advantage on the other side. Gotcha. Uh, we'll find out now, because now it's going to be a bit of a stalemate. Although the, the Nano gets used here by Marvel. He's just looking to swing away with this hammer. He's going to get up to that Shatter, no problem at all. A couple of quick kills coming through here for the Soul Dynasty. And Hunters. I mean, still, this is part of the plan. We'll get sent back and Ooh, robbed. Robbed! Marvel, he was so excited. He was going to get to, you know, just that spot on the wall has been bothering him forever. He was looking for the right color of red. And then Elza, you know, let it go. Let it go. I can still look at this. Fitz has nearly caught up to Elsa again. So yeah, he's going to have EMP again. So that's it. He's yeah. just like, chuck the EMP. It's fine. I'll get it back before uh, the next big fight. Yeah, I mean, I mean, also, you just don't want to end up making a mistake and dying with EMP and then throwing it away. So you just take a fight that you're supposed to win. Just, you know, just take the victory. It's like when a team bumps, just take the out. Okay, there was one. Marvel. Great support from his team, though. He will be kept alive. There's the EMP thrown in over the side. Do they get everybody? They do, in fact, get five. Marvel deleted. Need to get a bit more out of this as the EMPs wear off. Fleta did get the rally. Fitz with the counter. Four are there, and there's no sound barrier. So this is all done dirty. Who is going to connect first? And it's looking like the Hunters are going to get the job done. One take of progress, looking like two. We could get a contest, yep. You need the contest. If they get Marvel. contest, they might be able to get a Graviton into this. Just perhaps Hamster doing his best to stay on point. Jexy's also alive. Fitz was trying, they were trying to body block Fitz off of it, but there's the grab getting thrown in. And this is going to be the end of the line here for Soul. How else do you come back from this? Because Fitz is going to get overwhelmed. No more of an ice cube left, and he gets melted. You have Marvel going down next, and that is going to be a successful offense in the end for the Hunters. Had to get a, you know, had to work a little bit for it there at the end, but both of these teams are so evenly matched.
Looking at the final blows, 35 to 34. Hunters are in the lead by one. It's about as close as it gets. It seems like we might be having a repeat of Lunar Colony of our match from earlier today. Went six to five because these are some big time banks left. However, Chengdu only finishes their second attack at all four points possible. 13 seconds in the bank. Yeah, so that is far slower. But that's all right, because now we get to see, are they going to be able to just draw things out? Do we see a change in strategy for them on the first point here is what I'm curious to see. Or, well, we see Elza and YXL just going straight for the Junk and Torb. So we might get a repeat. Yeah, it's just, Yang Long got pressured out so hard on this Junkrat and didn't get a ton done. And Junkrat can be so good against a team trying to run triple tank, triple support, trying to get through the choke point. But at least half of the team. There's one Jake fan. <laughs> At least half the team in Fair and Mercy, you're never going to hit with any of your Junkrat projectiles. And then Marvel's going to have Shield down on the point. Hylie's going to stay away from it all. And Fitz and Flood are going to try to hit you from a distance. So Junkrat's meant to deny entry, but they don't really care about entry. They're trying to get kills. They're not coming through the front door. They're climbing in through the windows, dropping in through the roof. It's getting brutal. Uh, so <laughs> solo on the offense. Let's see. Changes on their side, and eventually they will take to the skies. Michelle blasting off with the help of Jexy. They land on the same composition they started on. And now it's going to be Shats. As that shield breaks. Oh, unfortunately, it's not going to pan. That is the one that you got to hit. Oof. Uh, a halt and headshot combination has not come to fruition thus far. Unfortunately, the space is just barely off. You got that turret doing work on the side, though. That's annoying. So, Yang Zhou Long, able to get in there early as Fitz had jumped forward, gets hit with a mine, and that should stall out the push momentarily at least. I will not waste this opportunity. I mean, so far, good, good positioning coming in here from Jimbo, although this time he gets a little greedy, yep. That was a peak where, yep, exactly. He could have had rockets to the face, never mind. It was, I was worried about bullets or arrows, but turns out, Michelle's just gonna blindside him. Well, luckily he slid off the roof. He slid off the roof into a resible position, so they brought him right back to life. Oh, man. He wants to maintain the element of surprise, but that's gonna give it up, and not quite connecting with the shots here, Fleta. Jinbu coming over the top. Rocket after rocket, point blank, go ahead. Nowhere to go. Nano boosted, damage boosted, hitting Jirax. He could even kill people with Splash at that point in time. And they're just gonna leave this turret set up up front behind a shield. Ah, uh, never mind. I love this turret positioning actually. It denies entry for the opposing Fair Mercy on the right side of your screen over that short roof. There's a turret right below that. So it's kind of like you have a, a half of a teammate watching a flank. That's oh, proper annoying. Oh, Marvel. Getting up there. Jinmu's gotta be careful not to get dropped again. This is just spread out all over the place. Now, Marvel's on some flanking mission in the back. You're gonna have the longest fight in history, which is Junk v. Junk, trying to connect nades with each other. And that could have been it, but Fitz will find the kill to kick things off, perhaps. Jinbu out of it. Now it's gonna be YXL. He trades it right on back. Michelle blown to bits. And there's no res possible out in the open there. Marvel, I think Marvel is almost wishing he could just go back to spawn at this point. Uh. They're gonna nano Fleta because he's not hitting headshots, so I guess give him the boost. Can he hit that one? Good point. Oh, it's his bodies everywhere. Come on! He was so hot earlier as well, but you know that the widow's touch, it comes and goes. Oh, and there we go. Now they're gonna finally get some success here. Soul Dynasty, in the end, it's looking good, although there are still three alive here for the hunters, including Jinbu, who would love to go ahead and meet up with them face to face. Boost out onto him, and this can still do some serious work. Yep, Jinbu's gonna find one, could get a second as well while the Nano's going, he will. He's just soloing them. Jinbu holding it down. As long as he's not in my game, it's good to see Genji back. Such a high skill hero. They're gonna be able to pressure the point because Elsa should be coming back on Tracer. Aim on his back. They've got three on the point right now. There's a Lucio Taxi going on in the back line to bring back their healers as well. Chungnu's Ch gonna be in full health on defense. And we're at 90 seconds. Oh, that was great. That was the sickest boost ever. It's, you don't always have to just save it for the blade. Genji will mess people up boosted regardless. That was sick. Uh, All right, let's go. Yeah. If you don't boost that, he's dead. 
Well, now we get into it. They are done. Soul Dynasty out of patience, trying to get in here. They find Kyo to kick things off already. Strong start. Jinbu doing the best he can to survive. He's getting focused. They know that he's not far from a blade. That could mess things up here for the Soul Dynasty offense. But Soul Dynasty now, not a single take of progress, Hex. They're about to pick up the first one, it looks like. They're gonna get in, but they haven't really got any kills. The hacks have been really nice in slowing down both the Wrecking Ball and the Genji. I wonder if Jinmu's gonna throw Blade in here because you probably are not gonna stay on Genji on the second. Well, let's say that's time. Blade over the top. Highly looking for it. Could find it. Nope, nice move. Great crowd control. Great crowd control coming through. Jexy, what a pro. Not that, gonna get any joy there. And that boop is so important because you cannot allow a Genji to start getting dash resets. That's when they can do the most damage. If you can prevent them from getting the one kill that will reset their dash ability, then they end up being somewhat useless and you can outrange them and sell them out. Big EMP. Exactly right. This is what they were hoping for, for here. Soul, because they can go right into that EMP. Two quick kills for them. It, it's entirely possible that Soul Dynasty just, just slam through and pick up both points with time left in the bank. They're getting it done so well right now off of the back of Fitz's EMP. There was an attempt, obviously, from the Hunters, but this is still going to be Soul Dynasty maintaining control. Five bodies alive on the point, just constantly delaying. Sound Barrier gets used. That's why XL now he should get deleted. The bear, I mean, you got the Lighthouse blazing away as well. Still some decent stalls allowing these respawns to get in here. Got to get a pick, though, and with Yang Zhou Long down, the pick potential goes away. So close. Now you got May. May wall is there. There's the ice cube. Now you're gonna flip that over to Elsa. So they're definitely pass. We're gonna be in overtime now for Soul. Yeah, they're trying to milk out the clock. I do believe Soul will eventually get this unless a miracle fist play comes in. Always possible. They didn't quite find it that time though, and so highly with two, and that is the Soul Dynasty tying it up four to four. Well, we're going to do yet another round of beautiful Paris. When we return, it is 4-4. These teams very close in their time banks. Only 13 seconds separate them. We'll see how this map actually shakes out when we return. Uh, welcome back from the quick break, and we are in a tied situation now. <laughs> Minutes been added to the clock, and we're tied up four to four. Soul Dynasty will start on the offense. They, they're the ones who finished in overtime. They're the ones who finished with less time in the bank than the Chengdu Hunters. And so, it's into the thick of things here, Hex. Yeah, there's a great deal of draw potential right now if neither team can take any sort of progress on the point. But we shall see how it all shakes out. No changes in the strategies just yet. Well, in fact, Soul does seem like they want to run something entirely different. Never mind, I spoke too soon. They're going to go with dive tanks in a Winston and a Diva to try to get in there and disrupt. And maybe they're just playing, hoping that Fitz can get his EMP before the time expires. Fitz getting blown up, though. Not going to help things. YXL, is ha he's loving life right now. Sexy eventually takes down the turret, but this is Jinmu now in the thick of things. Hucking rockets into faces. And we're already down to 30 seconds here. Oh. Next, that's a big one. Oh, you can see that coming from a mile away. You don't want to be in a small room when there's someone outside of the rocket launcher. I'm no military strat a strategic strategician. I can't even say the word. Surprise! Stra <laughs> Gives his life for it. Like, yeah, come on. Three of them right there, and I got Mirage. Let's go. Gives his life for it, but it doesn't matter. Gets rezzed up. That's a gambit that you will totally run. The turret will pick up the final kill there. They're going to boost Michelle just with a, a wing and a prayer right now. Yeah, they're going in one after another. Single tick. Oh, no. Meant to be. Oh, oh, no. Wait, three quick kills. That's the entire back line gone. Elsa with the turret on Michelle. Let's go. Soul's going to get this. On way there. too many Probably. kills. No, Kyo's here. Kyo's here. Kyo's here. There's one. No, he's, there's no way that he's going to make this happen. He is going to get removed. Unbelievable. 
that this could potentially go this way. One tick, two ticks, three ticks, four. Are we going to get the hunt? I mean, is he going to be able to roll back in time? Amon's trying. He's on the hamster. I don't think so. I don't see it happening. He's not even in position. Just soul taken first. Oh, it's real. Add 30 seconds to the clock. Add composition changes coming in. Marvel just came in last second on the hammer and just rolled face, quite literally. Yeah, let's see what happened here because uh, that was looking so good and then it got really bad. Oh, environmentals. Gets Amon out of it. Highly gets the shot there. Blood up takes down Evil Tall and that's all she wrote. A concerted team effort there. And now, final attack on the second point for Soul. They have EMP. There it is, EMP thrown out immediately. YXL will take down Fleta though, and there's the tire instantly deleted. And he's found out as well. So Soul Dynasty is trying to stay alive in this. Marvel, not long for this world. He's gone, self-destruct over the top. Man advantage now for the Hunters. And it seems like the Hunters should be able to stabilize. The last time I said that, some magic happened, Hex. Oh, not often do you get a kill off of the ultimate from Doomfist, but he's able to set it up right there. Still trading back and forth, but trades, of course, in favor of the defense on the assault map type. Minefield's gonna come out and make running around very difficult. In fact, Michelle, why don't you just take a trip back to spawn? I believe we have tied the record of points now on Paris. I think the, the record yes. was nine. Soul has five points. I think Chungu Trout said that four. earlier. Yeah, it was a uh, lower third there. Mm -hmm. Five to four here on Paris. Defense akin to any professional sports all-star game. Yeah, just run in them. Run in run at them screaming, and you will get the job done. And it's a high-pitched scream from the Hammond, but that was a fierce one. Made all the difference for Soul. Five points. Yeah, Soul's in a great position here to go into halftime 2-0. Really get one step closer to get into those stage three playoffs. What a gut punch for the Hunters. Oh, God, it, it looked so good for them. And then all of a sudden you lose your main tank. And then both Hylie and Fleta hit shots from long range. Fleta waited all game long to hit a shot. Yeah. Hit the one hey, that counted. Saved it for the he end. Hit the one that counted. Yeah. All right, let's see what Chengdu wants to run here. It's just such an interesting com combination when you run Elsa with Amon. Amon just doesn't really play Winston. I think his thinking is if, if I'm going to play Winston, why not I just play ball? Why not I just play Hammond instead? I'm better at Hammond. Yeah. <laughs> And the, mobility. The, the way he understands Hammond and is able to get the angles, it's like a Winston Leap. Except this one has a pile driver at the end. And, and a billion HP. Let's say fits with the scout. Early on, Elsa just check it. It's also much less pressure on your healers because he has the adaptive shields. That's unfortunate. Yep, bye. That's unfortunate. Great pick for Fitz. It seemed like KO knew he was back there but couldn't find him. I think that was it. They probably got to detect off somehow and then. It's fine. I mean, if you're going to lose people, lose them that early because now you still have a legitimate shot at a fight. You have 44 seconds on the clock here for the Hunters. I mean, it's still cutting it close though. Soul Dynasty are not going to let them set up. Theo once again, deaded. And Soul Dynasty with the man advantage, still taking the fight to the Hunters. Have to be careful not to overextend. Losing Jexy hurts. Well, that hurts because KO's gonna be back into this fight and Jex say, well, he's Lucio, he might be able to get back in, but for the time being, very rough. A hack on a Jinmu, cost him his life. They might be able to res this. But you're losing highly. They're resonating. You're losing your heals. Looks like, all right, they were able to trade off for Amok, but again, it's just back and forth. Keep in mind, all of the kills favor the Hunters. It's so far for the Soul Dynasty to run to get back into this that the Hunters will eventually win out. Yang Zhaolong uses his EMP because he felt he had to. The problem with that is, Fitz on the other side has an EMP for their defense. So Chengdu, when they got their ultimate, they used it immediately, they had to. But now they're in a rough spot because Soul is going to be able to EMP them this next fight. As long as Fitz doesn't make a drastic error, Soul has the advantage here. Let's see. But they're staying on this comp because they're nearing ultimates and it also allows them to be more spread out. So they're very unlikely to get a five or six man EMP off. Exactly, well, it's just gonna throw it in there and see what sticks and it's a so, well, it's not too bad. Four of them getting affected by the EMP, traded one for one. Keo out of for the Panthers, that hurts. 
So you lose that healing, but you didn't have a nano. Evil Tall is still flying high with the wings, so the chain healing is out there. Amon drops the mines, and now there's the opening for Jinmo. Instant deletion of that shield. Nowhere to hide. Michelle gonna go up, but that's still traded out. Marvel falls for the defense, but he's right next door. That's fine. It's not looking like it's gonna happen here for the Hunters. Oh, they're, they're getting so picked close. one after another. They were so close to getting the progress that they needed, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be a draw. It's a draw. But a new record, 10 points on Paris. Both teams going at it toe to toe. This truly is one of the most even matches we've had all week long. We're taking a break and we'll hear what the halftime crew have to say after that. The Overwatch League is powered by Intel. Game, record, stream without compromise on Intel Core i7. And by Omen by HP, the official PC and display of the Overwatch League. The Dynasty need a W here to punch their ticket into the station playoffs, and they're taking care of business so far of 1-0 over the Hunters at the break. How you guys doing? We're back at it again. Uh, we got another wacky matchup here between the Chengdu Hunters and someone else. Mm -hmm. This time, the Soul Dynasty. Guys, how much are you enjoying this? This, this is like, uh, this is great. This is like some bargain bin Overwatch. <laughs> like, you, it's like a pound, one pound for a DVD in your in your local corner shop. No, because that would mean uh, that it wasn't entertaining. Oh, it's know? entertaining. You can find some bangers in the bargain bin. <laughs> they definitely I'm are. Not saying, I'm not this saying one is a you can't find some bangers. It's you been can. it's been highly entertaining. Now, of course, the Soul Dynasty. They're missing Fisher. He's retired. So uh, Marvel's been stepping up to the plate for the Dynasty. How do you guys think he's been performing today? Pretty good, honestly. Yep. This is a very difficult stage to perform well in as a main tank player. Yes. Right now, you're getting shut down by Sombras, you're getting shut down by a lot of CC. Mm -hmm. Seeing a lot more usage from Anna's as well. Uh, again, it, it's very difficult to pop off, but Marvel performing very well. I, I mean, he was a staple in the Soul lineup. He was played predominantly over Fisher anyway. So I don't think the Fisher loss has hurt them too much. But uh, I think there is something to be said for the, the idea that you had on the pre-show that Soul Dynasty might recruit another main I think pack. they will. But I think Marvel works perfectly. Even if they want to run a bunch of different styles, Marvel's got that aggressive gear that he can shift into uh, and all of the mechanical skill to be able to play Reinhardt and Winston at a super high level. You can also play the Wrecking Ball. This guy is a real upcoming talent and is Junkrat phenomenal. I know. I agree with you guys. Now, you know, 
the Soul Dynasty, they've been known for their methodical play. And I feel like every opponent they go up against uh, is something different, but today they're up against the Chengdu Hunters, uh -huh. which means there's a lot of craziness. Yeah, yeah you never play methodically against the Chengdu no. Hunters, no. I'm convinced that Chengdu come into every game and they're like, don't overthink it, let's not have a plan, just Chung do it. Jinmu, you got your, your, your Q key is ready, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just Chung just do, chung it. do it, it, baby. I, I love it because the idea is that they just go for stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> what even happened in this? I don't even know. Like, if they traded grabs and then they, they both hit bionades and then it was a 1v1, but the Zaru yeah. is yeah. in the end. Just insane. Just absolute insanity. I love watching Eamon because he just runs at people. This is him in the back line. Yeah. The Soul He's flanking <laughs> on right. He's on playing Reinhardt. like you. Yeah, I know. And then Elsa gets a 2K in this fight with the baby diva because why not? <laughs> cool, Matt. Be proud. <laughs> Just fantastic. Know? And Jinmu is oh a legend God. in terms of his mechanics. But I love it because he has the highest highs and the lowest lows. Like, he just... Watch this next clip. It's probably going to be he, him feeding his brains out. <laughs> probably. Yeah, here we go. Oh, actually, Ooh, I think no, he does pretty well I think here. this is the fantastic little Genji spree It's the next one. Don't lose oh, this. It's coming soon. He's Ooh. genuinely incredible, but sometimes Ooh, it's like... Here it comes the feed. Watch <laughs> it. And shift. And it's my diamond games. There you go, and he's and he's dead. Oh. Yeah, just shifting into four people. That's just Jin Mu. Just, and here again, and here. <laughs> he just he drops down a barrage in front of a Diva and a Winston that haven't used any of their abilities. It's crazy. Just yeet after yeet. I, I love watching this team though. This is why they're Hex's favorite team. I mean, <laughs> what is going on here? Elsa just throwing the top molten <laughs> core everywhere, getting a turret kill. Kyo ends up dying. It it's uh, yeah. highly dies to the top goo, and it ends in a draw and in the ends end in anyway. The and this tire, what? what was he doing here? Look at this. Watch this tire. Watch this. Oh, I mean, that's just unlucky, actually. Yeah, you know, it is, like, it is. If I was Jake, I'd be giving that a 7 out of 10. But this, get Jackson with th that one. this team is so nuts because they play in such a weird, unorthodox way. And we overuse the word wacky. So I love it, though. They use weird compositions. Yeah. They play in aggressive yep. style. They've been trendsetters in the league. And they can upset anybody. I feel like that's the slogan for stage three, just chunk do it. Thank you guys <laughs> for bringing that one to life. Now, the Chunk Do Hunters, they may not be making it into the stage three playoffs, but they're still in regular season playoff contention. Let's take a look at their schedule. Uh, yeah. they, got a, they got some winnable games here. What do you guys think? So this was what I set up, right, with their projected record, because these are the games that I think they should win. They should be expected to be able to beat Boston Uprising, I think. And with the Outlaws now slipping a little bit, I think they should be able to get that win as well. But that only puts them at a projected record of 11 to 17, which probably might not be enough to get them into 12th place yes. overall. So they'll be looking at some other games, and they actually have a really tough Stage 4 schedule. So uh, this mate. game against Dynasty is really important. Honestly, though, still looking at Stage 4, winnable. Uh, winnable. Well, everything's winnable with Chuck. Winnable, mate. Because they can upset anybody. Like, but, but you can't... They're not reliable. You don't know oh, when no, they're going to no, stop. But I them. also wouldn't be shocked if they win. The overall, <laughs> just, just the whole actually, thing. They've, they've been surprised. I would, be like, I would mean, be very shocked. I mean, they just beat the shock. So I'll be, I wouldn't be shocked if they beat anyone yeah. else, you know, to give you real. Well, guys, right now, it is the Soul Dynasty who are up 1-0. They just need one more map win to secure themselves a spot in the Stage 3 playoffs. We're going to find out if they can do that in just a bit. Keep it locked. I started watching some streams of the pros. Pros were amazing, and one of the biggest guys I saw was awesome was, was Hydration, who was part of the Gladiators. Suddenly I'm at every game and... The beautiful LEDs, the cheers of the crowd. It shields up, it's, it's thunderous applause, it's roaring in the arena, it's a lot of clap, clap, stomp, stomp. You just kind of get sucked into it. And I've been hooked ever since. <laughs>
the wind. I am unstoppable. Uh. Welcome back from the break, ladies and gentlemen, and the halftime show, and the segment that I think we're gonna have to just keep on top of from here on out, Hex, the Chung Do It segment. Yeah. Good stuff, Brent. If I coined that phrase, I would be expecting royalties, but. Yeah, they're not gonna give you credit. Though. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. I mean, however, after that, after that long drawn out five to five on Paris map, it was a draw at the very yes. end. So Seoul, one map away from locking up their stage three playoff appearance. And there you go. That is a team that is one map away from locking in a stage three playoff appearance. Seoul Dynasty, they're on your screen. That's what's on the line here. I, it's, look, I completely agree with our halftime crew that Chengdu can beat anybody. They can also lose to anybody. I do believe we're gonna see some non-traditional strats here on Eichenwald, at least on the first point. On third point, though, is where I believe Chengdu ended up rocking San Francisco on this map with standard 3-3, Reinhardt standard 3-3. So we shall see what Eichenwalda holds for us. Do you, has it ever, like, bothered you that there just happens to be a siege ram just chilling out in the middle of a village that happens to ne be next to a castle? Like, how does that work? I, I don't think about it, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, Nobani, at least they're delivering the, the fist or something. You know, there's like, let's go into the museum. Here's just like, we just happen to have exactly what you need to break into the castle. Yeah. All I know, it's a, it's it's not the superior siege weapon. That would be a trebuchet. Uh, that. Yeah. That you put in front of the walls. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right behind your cavalry. Uh, <laughs> Oh, never forget. All right, let's get into the thick of things here because we're going to have an air battle. I like it. Fleta is going on the rockets. Jit move, no shock there on the far off. But we do have a soldier hex. That's fun. Yeah, I think he's going to go back once he sees this. They're going to make a couple of changes here. Does not want to take the risk of going up against both the soldier, the Ana, and the opposing far. Just too much happening there. Let's see, the offense is going to change here. Going to run a Widow. Junkrat, or excuse me, Roadhog. I do that all the time. Oh. All right. So when the dust settles, it is double sniper and Arissa. So you want to try to get a point here, but I think that Soul's just going to collapse on this. They are going to be taking the fight. I mean, good angle here for Michelle to just keep pumping damage into them. Oh! And that sets him up That's for perfect. headshots like that. YXL going to stick it. I mean, going to kick it off strong. That's the best possible kill they could have gotten. Not only is it all the healing out, but now Flood has been nerfed. Flood well, taking out YXL, finally gonna fall at the hands of Marvel, but it's too little too late here for Soul. Marvel is doing the best they can to try and like buy a little bit more time, but it's just not gonna be enough. And now he's on the wrong side of the wall. They're just delaying him. They're taking their sweet time about it. Very nice, very nice. Big changes coming in for both sides. The uh, notable exception will be that Fitz is very likely going to stay on the Sombra. Soul's been liking to run that lately. Elsa has to switch over to it, so... Oof. All right. I mean, it doesn't really matter because Fitz will be back in time by, by the time that Soul wants to actually defend because this payload takes a little bit to get to the door. The door is medieval, but doors in Overwatch take forever to open. So it's a kill. It looks flashy, but in the end, it doesn't really mean much. Just waiting for them to peek through that door. Do you want to say it or should I? No, go ahead. No, where's going to be the yeet? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeet! Get in there! Not quite the Sabiobi level of yeet, but just good enough. They do get a couple down. Evil Tell and Amen will fall. Angel Long Long is to be very careful. Ooh, you overseer, you're welcome. Uh, so spicy with the ball. Could have got out, but he stayed there. I guess he didn't think Soul was going to be as aggressive as they were. Well, we've passed the four-minute mark right now. So, Hunters now 
Still have a comfortable amount of time on the clock considering how quickly they were able to take the first point. Soul Dynasty stabilizing on the defense, trying to hold close to the arch. That's the name of the game here for them. They want to contest every meter, or better yet, cut this team in half. I'm liking the aggression from Marvel. Just ran right in behind the enemy Rhine and started just swinging at the back line. I still charged up, trying to get in there. Jin Mu could have lived there. They're gonna go ahead and EMP this 5v6 is Chengdu. And they yes. get any kills. Marvel falls. Marvel down. Fleta went for the rally though. Do we get that bonus armor? Do we get that bonus armor on the rest of the team? It's looking like we will get a little bit of it, but there you go. Just throw it. The shield are, is up though. And so Amog has got to be careful. He's pinned down. He's so low, finally getting topped up. The fact that that shatter got almost nothing is amazing. Considering Marvel was down on the other side, but he tried to shatter the Brigida and Azaria, and they both have abilities which allow them to block that shatter. That should have been a huge shatter and ended up getting nothing. Graviton comes in for Chengdu. Grabs on both sides, YXL down, Amung sure to follow. He's getting support, but it's just not gonna be enough when you got five guys jumping on top of you like that. There's no way out. Jin move gone, and they are sent back to spawn. Hunters, they're bleeding time off the clock here, Hex. They've spent a minute and a half, and they've barely made any progress at all. Uh, just around first bend on second point of Eichenwald. Eichenwald, Eichenwald, Eichenwald. <laughs> Fitz has EMP up, Elsa at 78%. He gets one good flank pick on, but they're just gonna go ahead. Soul is going to Nano. They Nano Marvel, he gets anti-healed and has to back up. And just, you know, take everybody needs to take a nap sometimes. Like, you know, the stress is getting to him. Decides to close those peepers for a minute, but now he's, he's feeling all fresh and feisty. He's feeling all rested. Among just swinging away. Looking for the plays. We do get the EMP over the top. Only picks up two, but there will be a manual one on Marvel. Gonna force him to just play around the corner. Exactly, try and hide. Gotta be careful though, Jinmu. Getting a bit out there in the open. That's gonna cost him. Nice shatter, and that is actually gonna find one. Keo goes down, and the follow-up. So good here from Soul. Both Lucios saved their teams in those fights, respectively. The EMPs went off on both, but the Lucios were both hiding. First came Evil Tolls barrier to keep his team alive. Then they counter EMP'd, but Jaxe was there on the spot, ready to bury his own team. And eventually, the swinging away onto Jinmu, who perhaps was a little too far out there on the Brigida. You know, he's not used to playing Brigida that much anymore. He's used to being able to play damage dealers, and you want to be a little more aggressive there. Yep, 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 but unfortunately, buddy, unfortunately, you're back in the break. YXL, Among, oh, just getting wiped out. And we are seeing this how this plays out now with this aggro defense holding at the gate. You're not getting through. We'll run you all the way back to spawn. And then hell, we can even sit out front of your spawn. You're not getting out unless we let you. Both teams traded out. Graviton surges there. The anti-nade from Hylie made all the difference. Able to get in there and swing through. Michelle able to beam everybody down. Now, at 45 seconds left for Chengdu's offense, Fitz has EMP. Elsa nearing it. I think Chengdu needs to try to poke. You need to wait for Elsa to get his EMP, but they're gonna get EMP'd beforehand. Trying to do it manually. Trying to do it manually. Can still come over the top as soon as they push through. But there's Jinbu with the rally. EMP over, and it's four on the side of Soul that get hacked, and that's not pretty. Two go down immediately. Could lose highly here as well. And the Nano on Emong just making it so he does so much damage. Yeah, full on reset here as Chengdu was able to get the EMP off before Soul Dynasty. But Soul Dynasty should be able to come back and win one single fight. It's going to be an overtime in five seconds here. Fitz has EMP ready. That's why they reset everyone who remained alive after that fight. They're looking for one last fight. There's eyes on Fitz. Yep, that's what I thought. He got greedy. He tried to go for the manual hack, and then he gets put to sleep. If he goes down, there it is. Gets the EMP over the top. Four of them hacked, getting chucked off the side. And just like that, the Hunters are gonna get wiped out. But I thought for a second there, I thought for a second, Fitz, he got too greedy. You talk about living on the edge right there. He's over there, Keo gets the sleep dart on him, but unfortunately, Fitz lives half his body hanging off the cliff. They're able to whip shot Keo off the edge. He dies, they come back with EMP, and they stop it right there. I'll do the other half of Eichenwald, when we return. Coca-Cola is the official refreshment of the Overwatch League. Shots in and
Welcome back, and we are going to go into it now with the Hunters on the defense. Soul Dynasty on the offense. Curious to see, because that really felt like Fitz was playing with fire there at the end, Hex. It was a really interesting kind of engagement that happened there, and not killing Fitz at the end probably cost Chengdu, because now Fitz gets back in there with the EMP. It was very strange. Anyway, Chengdu was able to get it about to the bridge on second points. That's it. Yeah, let's check this out. So KO's hanging out over here. I saw this on the top down. Probably here's a hack, yep. hits the dart, and then living on the edge, but he gets whip shot over the top. Look, that is defying physics right there. That is the strongest ankle hold in the world. Fitz, though. And then he comes, you know, Fitz, Fitz wakes back up, yep. comes in and EMPs, and that's the fight. Uh, but him getting, I mean, that is nuts, the fact that he goes for that hack, risks it all. And it's a dangerous support to try to deal with. So, let's see. Just body shots for Fleta. <laughs> Turns out a rocket can hit you too. Jeez, that was a long one. Surprise, surprise. Shields are up now though. Marvel slowly advancing. And there we go. Finally, a kill going the way of Soul. And you know, they're going to lose two just as quickly. Marvel and Fitz out of the picture. God, Jinmu runs so hot and cold sometimes. Our halftime does get this, but he picks up three there late. Forces out the resurrection from Jexay on Michelle, so that's not an option for them going forward. Not the most traditional defense from Chengdu, but what is traditional for Chengdu? Let's see if he hits these directs. That would have been sick if it was one of like a, a fade away there. Yeah, yeah that's sort of fade away there. A lot of these are just, uh, I mean, this one's good. The first two is just like, I think I'm gonna shoot this general area. Yeah. Gets two, but now Flata comes alive. Gets two quick kills. Oh, Jinbu, gonna get put to sleep. He's still alive, but he's right over the top of Michelle. Angle was there to win that duel outright. He's not gonna do it though. The nano boost goes on to him. And right, Michelle doesn't care about your rockets now. You can hit back to back. All good. I'm boosted. He got down to like 46. He's boosted no longer, and actually he's unable to convert that boost in any kills. Okay, is this taking too long now? We're at two minutes on the clock here for Soul Dynasty. I mean, it's not great. Vlada goes down after he switches to the Doom Fist of all things. He gets whole hogs by Elsa. And yeah, we're at two minutes, so you generally think that's two good fights. Fleta now off the fist, back onto the Widow. Soul's running this double sniper offense with a fair mercy. Orissa on the ground. Hey, right now, it just feels like Jim is ruling the skies. Iron fist, I mean. Dragon through the hard point, trying to force him into the open. Keo backs off the clever angle on his side. He's gonna crouch over there. We're gonna get those. The, oh, the bongos are down, highly taking advantage of it. Amog out of it, it's not gonna help things. Can we get Evil Tall in here to res? It's being camped. What a yanked into oblivion, he's gone. But there it is, the res goes off, but it's used on Michelle. It's used on Michelle, they wanna keep this fair mercy in the sky. Probably a much more restful position than where Fleta just went down as well. Buck 20 on the clock, Michelle has barrage. It's the only ultimate on the board right now. Kyo will have Nano. If you Nano Jinmu, he will likely get Barrage. Another hook! Yeah. They are not adapting to this at all here on the side of Soul. Wondering if it's getting to them a little bit. The, I mean, this is the map they could decide the stage three playoffs for them, if they're in it or not. They're dancing on the edge, eighth position right now in the stage three standings. Soul Dynasty, now they're gonna go ahead and make the swap. They've got one good push left in them. I mean, after that defense on their side, I mean, come on, you gotta get the job done here. This is the map. You've set yourself up for success. What it just got Jinmu, and there was no resurrection. So Jinmu's off the fair. He's going on to Doomfist, trying to get back in here. They open it with a barrage. They get two immediately. KO down, Amon down, and Soul has cracked open the first point. Well, there we go. That's a way to do it. That's a way. You play off the barrage. You're going to have Elsa. I mean, well, Elsa's Jinmu. They're just backing off at this point. Don't want to have anything to do with this. And now, 
the seas breaker. It was losing Jinmu on the far that really hurt them because there was so much constant pressure, so much poke on the entryways. And he was pressuring down both of the snipers as well. So that when they lost him, Soul realized the window went in. There wasn't a resurrection for uh, Jinmu during that fight. It had been used on somebody else. Chengdu is in a winnable spot though. They held on to Nano Boost, and they do have an EMP of their own. Everything else has changed for both teams. So on paper, Chengdu wins this next fight. The EMP only catches two. Oh, and Marvel survives this. If Marvel survives this, that's unreal. Marvel survives this. Well then, Fitz has slept somewhere. Oh, and he gets out of it too. Oh, you gotta coordinate that. Can't, you gotta rush it. You rushed it a little bit there, and he's out. So now it's going to be the boost thrown in. Someone just got put to sleep. Elsa's just charging in. He's fully charged up, so he wants to do some damage. Great disengage from Soul. They get very little out of that. Now Soul can use their own nano boost on whichever tank they choose. Get it in on Marvel. Just get him in there. Get him swinging, and yep, sure enough, one goes out. He gets hacked, doesn't care. The sleep, though! Beautiful sleep, and no one wakes him. Sick plays. The Hunters keep coming up with it. One for one trade, but Elza caught off from the rest of his team. If they can win out here, though, this would be big for the Hunters, but instead it is going to be Marvel. Just slamming him. It was all into the wall, he goes. And now you're gonna get the grab solo just to end this fight. Now it's time to make some real progress with the payload, and you all, all you have to do is get across the bridge, and you've got this on lock for Soul. A minute on the clock. Elsa needs to bite the bullet there and just realize he's dead. He's alone in the corner against two people, and he gravitons the two and dies anyway. Although Michelle had to use his ult later in the fight anyway, so now they're even on grab. The extra long EMP gets free. Let's see, there it is. <laughs> so, oh, no way! Get shut down! Hylie, no fun allowed. You gotta take a nap. Well, Hylie has learned from the best. Ru J Hong, the sleep dart master, sitting on the bench, but Hylie doing him proud, and Soul Dynasty will win the second map. They will, by default, win the series, and they are going to our stage three playoffs. Awesome work from Seoul today. An excellent defense and bringing it all together for the offense. And also taking us to a new record on Paris as well. Second map in this series. So, kind of feels bad though. It's like a new record on Paris, but no one won. But you gotta draw! <laughs> you gotta draw! We're taking a quick break, guys, and we'll be back for the last map of the series. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. Now connecting 99% of Overwatch League fans. Catch your league on America's network, T-Mobile. Refreshment of the Overwatch League. Soul Dynasty, they've done it, Hex. They've taken the series. They are going to the Stage 3 playoffs. They have secured their berth to go up against the best in the league. Hunters not quite able to get the job done today.
After a disappointing 2018 Overwatch League season, the Dynasty are trying to start living up to their names. They will be going to yet another stage playoffs, and the upset potential with this team has been proven before, as we saw earlier in our stage playoffs. They upset the NYXL in a great match if you're looking for some stuff to watch while we're gone for the next couple of days. But here are our stage three standings. Whole lot of green, whole lot of clinched. Oddly enough, Excelsior Dragons have not clinched their spots just yet. <laughs> Funny how that works out. I mean, it's, it's which is which is crazier, you know, that they haven't clinched yet, or that the dragons are actually in a position to clinch. Hex, this is a new age. It's a new season. Yeah. Shanghai. You know, we'll figure it all out in Atlanta because that is going to be next week. We head down to the great state of Georgia, we're going to Atlanta for our homestand, and we'll figure out the last participants in our stage three playoffs. I think there's like 10 tickets left, so get on it now. Um, yeah. Go get your homestand tickets or, uh, And if you're know. there, it's worth a visit. I spent a few months in Atlanta for E-League and it was so sick, it was a beautiful city. Definitely get down there, guys. I mean, Dallas is bonkers, so Atlanta, I'm sure, is gonna be right up there. Yeah, I, I would tend to agree. Great fans for the Atlanta rain. Be showing up in mass there. Washington Justice fans have the opportunity to take a bus down, a whole big experience. Yeah, that's right. But we do have one more map to play because map differentials will eventually matter at some point in time. Let's do a little bit of Gibraltar. Oh, yeah. YXL, he was popping off with the, with the Widow earlier, so let's see. They're gonna go for the flank and try and cut this team in half. YXL still has ways out though, so exactly. He is definitely going to get focused, but now it's whether he goes down or not, and he will eventually get smushed. Smushed like a bug. Pile driver on to Bleda, but Bleda lives through Jinmu. Puts his Hanzo to work against Marvel. So Jinmu is just one of those guys who can play everything. I'm just gonna play everything. Well, I mean, mostly Hanzo Far uh, would be his specialist. Meanwhile, despite the kills and despite the fact that Chengdu had a 6v5 for a long time, Soul's been pushing the cart nonstop. Now Jinmu will get pressured down. Evil Toll is next to fall. And yes, there's a minefield, but uh, you know, Fitz is just gonna say thank you for the free charge, walk through with his own shields. Exactly. And they're gonna keep right on top of this. So, cruising right now are the Soul Dynasty. They got the music on, they're just bobbing their heads, and there's a self. What? Where did Fitz? Fitz, what are you doing? How does Fitz go up to that self destruct? The world may never know. Transcendence used on the point here. Soul tries to figure this one out. A1 gets very low, so a Transcendence forces out a Chengdu as well. Everybody hit Q if you got him. Marvel's got Baby in the corner. Yang Zhao Long goes down. Oh, buddy. Brutal. Just mincing him. Yeah, he just had a field day. That's a feel good moment for Marvel. Doesn't always go that great when you primal. Sometimes you just gotta jump all over the place. It's not really fun. That's the moment. Those are the primals you live for, Hex. You know what's been impressive thing. about Marvel today, though, too, is he's done a lot of work on every different tank. Yeah. All the, you know, he's got his Reinhardt work in, his Winston's look good, his Hammond was definitely decent. Yeah. I mean, he probably won them or kept them alive in Paris based on that Hammond roll through. Knocked off the Orisa. Oh, you. Oh, there's very few players in the league who look comfortable on all the tanks. He also played some Orisa. He did play some Orisa. Yeah, you get some halts in there too, so I mean, good on him. Fits his charge, looking to beam, looking to beam, and he is gonna find it. Able to out in the open, no good. Getting caught, that's not gonna help things. Not long is back here, but like you said, Thanks for the hey, I get free charge, awesome. Well, I mean, he was at 90, got greedy, wanted to go up to 100%, he'll burn his cooldown for that one. Meanwhile, Marvel goes up top, lands a big jump. Right now, Chengdu is just backpedaling. We see this happen with teams sometimes on the defense where they just can never seem to get in there for a fight. And they just keep giving ground, giving ground, giving ground. They've only got two kills on the board, Hex. And they're running, I mean, they're running the, the heavy hitters in the Widow Hanzo. You should think that they should be able to get something, but it's just not panning out. Marvel just running around once again. He's gonna be a tough one to take down when he's fully charged up like this, and that sets it up for Fitz to shine. I uh, just knocking people about. Fitz ends up cleaning up the mess, gets himself four. And that is a very swift second take here. As now, Sol tries to close out Gibraltar. Still only two kills for Chengdu. 20 to two in favor of Sol. As it has been, well, a wet paper bag of a defense. It hasn't been very 
robust. And yes, there it is. It's, is it gonna be the grab over the top? Why not? You saw that you just saw the D Matrix get used. You could have thrown it in if you wanted to, but instead he's gonna hold on to it. Michelle will open it up for the kill on Aim Bunk. Oh, it's, what are you no. doing, buddy? Well, it's he had to killed again. No, because he got stunned earlier, and he was in a really rough spot at 200 HP, so he had to use his own allied shield, and then he didn't have anything for when the self-destruct came in. Fitz has died twice, both times to self-destructs, but Soul is unperturbed. They continue to push. Yeah, why are you making excuses for him, Max? What's this? Let's go. Well, I mean, I'm just telling you what happens. It's kind of my job. Tills keep rolling in here for Soul. They're getting focused. Ah, the focus fire is all here for Soul Dynasty right now. They are just going to maul the Hunters. It's brutal, it's bloody, and it's one-sided. And we are going to get the grab at the door, but it's totally fine. Soul Dynasty picking up all three points. Oof. The Hunters become the Hunted, and that was an extinction-level event right there. 28-3. to three. Mm -hmm. Seems like the Hunters just want to pack it up and uh, move on. Uh, you know. There are many other places to go hunting next. This one is over. This hunt is over. They packed up to the right. That was tough. That was a tough one. Yeah, I'll get, I'll get, you know, we'll figure it out. But, oh yeah, no break this time. So we are just going to keep going into the action. Yeah, I mean, Evil Tall has played pretty well, supports pretty well. It's just one of those days for the hunters where the curveballs that they're throwing aren't necessarily working. The regroups weren't always there all day today. And you know, all credit to Soul. They have played very, very well. We're, we're trying to figure out who's going to be player of the match. We could give it to three or four different people. Uh, and Fleta. Just glad to see Fleta get the flex on Widow again. I really do think it it's ends up being like a mental boon and this morale boost. Right. That like, yeah, I'll play Brig, but like, do I get a map where I get to Widow? Sure. And then you get more excited for the match, right? Because these are natural damage dealing heroes, players. They've been playing shoot them in the head their whole life. Yes. It's what they're used to. It's what they like. They get the adrenaline for it. Brigida feels, yes, Brigida feels very different. You can get a lot work done, and there are playmaking opportunities, but it doesn't feel the same as just clicking on heads. Yes, yeah, so that was the interview with Carpe where we built it up. Yeah. And he was just like, yes, I got to play Widow. I got to play Overwatch again. Because for him, that is what Overwatch is. Mm -hmm. That is his role. To wreak havoc. It is a first-person shooter, not a first-person swing the mace wild. <laughs> That's not what the S stands for. All right, let's get into it now. It is Hunters on the offense. Double sniper set up for them, at least at the beginning here, until perhaps they decide to change their minds. This whole dynasty on their side of things. Divey McDive, well, now triple, triple, but Winston. Yeah, I mean, this is the right response if you're anticipating a double sniper composition. You find the one, try to isolate him, get both Marvel and Michelle over on him. Throw some on the orb, some on the bubble, and you should be able to delete these guys. They're just gonna take high grounds. And there they go, right after him, and with that Discord, it's enough damage for Shinbu to get overwhelmed. The fight is here. Both of them go down. Ivatal just chucked off the side. Yeah, there was no Guardian Angel target to go to. He just floated sadly away like the paper bag in American Beauty. <laughs> Plastic bag. Plastic, yeah. yeah. Just going in circles all the way down. I do kind of wonder about that, though. I mean, you know, I mean, she can float. Never mind. Soul Dynasty. Well, they backed up. They give him a little bit of ground. The payload is now stuck in the underpass as they fight over high ground, as you will want to do with dive tanks up here. Oh, interesting position for Chengdu. They pretty much swapped sides here. Chengdu has the high ground control on first point Gibraltar. Nice work. Nice work. Not letting Fitz recover from that headshot. Jinmu dinked him, but he was able to stay in the corner, but then the tanks for the Hunters just did not let Fitz follow through. So now we're going back and forth. Marvel, once again, getting to punch faces. Yeah, Marvel, love life right now. Marvel's killed both of the snipers, so now where's the damage come through for this cop? He's got Sendiata in the back. My course is out Transcendence. Even if he dies here, it's been a great life for Marvel. That was, uh, bringing it back, though. And they are just looking for this fight with the minefield in here. Trying to cut Soul up, but instead of Soul Dynasty just willing to give ground and back off. Marvel just come back to life, so he's going to be able to run back his, to this fight fairly quickly. As a Winston. And they're still here to contest. Michelle got to be careful, but okay, right there. Self-destruct. Into the door. Crouch. Stay alive. Dodge it. Easy, but you lost Fitz in the meantime. That's going to delay that EMP that can be crucial for ending this fight quickly. A minute 40 on the clock here for the Hunters, and they are right in front of the first point. 
could be the situation that uh, Soul were looking to dodge. And losing highly in Marvel is not going to help. I think Soul might still recommit to this because they did end up getting Evil Tall on the Mercy early on in this fight. But now this one's pretty much over. A couple of late kills come in for the Chengdu Hunters. They will unlock first point, extend their clock. 345 now on the clock. There you go. There you go. You just waited. It's funny how it works. It's funny how time goes by. Well, just uh, saying hello. Highly, we're going to have a swap there. No longer a Zenyatta. He's decided to go for the Ana. Yeah, you really don't want to necessarily run Zen too much against Double Sniper. Just because his hitbox is, is kind of easier, it doesn't have really... I don't know. This feels feels like a very easy sniper target. Dragon thrown in. Sound barrier used as well by Jexy. So they're going ham here. Soul Dynasty really trying to take the fight to the Hunters. The Hunters doing a good job of backing off. They wear down the shield. They don't get anybody up just yet. Evotal did go for the wings. And there's the EMP over the top. That's going to bring them low. Where's the follow-up? The self-destruct timed perfectly there. And then you get the trance as well. Among eventually does get overwhelmed, however. And still, this is just a soul fight. Uh, Marvel's still in the back line of the primal, trying to knock a couple around. He does end up getting evil tall. Only survivor in this one, I believe, was the Hanzo. Got back to spawn, and now big changes come in for the Chengdu Hunters. They are off double sniper, going more towards a traditional 3-3. 3-3 with Reinhardt, the only change being no Zen, it's going to be an Ana for Kyo. Kyo's showing that he's a threat regardless. Marvel, just looking to get that cleave. He's been doing so well with the primals this fight. So yeah, exactly, just drops on down, gives him a little tickle, just let him know he's there. Ow, what is this? What is going on with the Zaryas getting picked by self-destructs? Well, I mean, maybe all credit to the Divas. Maybe they see the personal bubble used and just find the angle. Gibraltar's always been a great map for self destructs as you well know. Indeed I do, but still, still Hex. Marvel gets another Primal up after landing a kill. Doesn't even need to use it, gets two just with basic Tesla and Stomp abilities. I've been very impressed with Marvel today. No, he's been doing great, but I think it's a lot of standout play like on this map yeah. for the Hunters. They've are, they're kind of deflated, so I was careful to not just be like, Marvel's amazing, because no map of a one series. But, but it really does go back to the fact that uh, he's played every main tank above average. Today. Yes, yes, yes. And that kind of versatility is huge, because I mean, as we've seen, just in the course of a stage, the meta can shift drastically. Let's see if he makes the cut. So let's find out who our player of the match is. That's true. Now we'll see. All right now, Soul Dynasty are looking excellent as a team. That's the golden play right now. They're living up to the hype, living I mean, up to the name. Marvel is leading in final blows on his team. Him and Michelle, the dive tanks are getting it done. Ah, Michelle just took the lead. Ha. At least we have something to watch for. Michelle is at 12 final blows, Marvel at 11. Who will be the winner in final blows or dive tanks on Soul Dynasty? That's I'm all that matters. Like, I'm like, Hex, we got 40 That's seconds That's all that left. matters. We got 40 seconds left. <laughs> Let's keep on top of it. Marvel's, Marvel's got, got primal. primal. Exactly. Marvel's got primal. There's a self-destruct too. Michelle can hit the wombo and just go big here. Marvel now. Who's he going to pin? Who's he going to pin? Oh. Never mind. He's going to take a nap. Nope. He's back in it. Somebody woke the angry monkey up. Oh, come on, man. One kill. You're so close. Oh, oh no. It's going to him. Fitz robs him. Okay, there's one. We're tied up. 12 to 12. Who's going to get it? Yeah, YXL hanging on by a thread. Fleta robs that one. Come on. Michelle's got the self-destruct to the very end. They are tied up 12 12 in final blows. What is this Fitz? They're like conspiring against their tanks to rob all the kills. Unbelievable. It's tied 12 to 12. Soul Dynasty, they did it. Soul Dynasty will wrap up this series 3-0. There was a draw on the longest Paris we have ever seen, but they punched their ticket in dominant fashion, and they have a lot to be happy with. Chengdu back to the drawing board. They may be the most entertaining team in the league, but still some gameplay issues to work out. Yeah, with the cosplayers here as well for Soul Dynasty. Cheering, Diva and Tracer. Awesome, thank you for being here today. And well, Soul Dynasty, I mean, that's a well-deserved victory over the Hunters who have been looking better in recent times, yeah. for sure. Not an easy target to take down, but the Soul Dynasty, they lived up to it today.
I, I'm just curious going forward with this Soul team if this is the six they want to go with because there's a lot of different philosophies in the Overwatch League, but you look at some of the very top teams, they generally keep the same six in. Shock. The Titans have made some changes today, which I think were much needed. Fun, yeah, yeah, I think sure. they were very smart changes. And then NYXL actually have been making a few changes as well, but small tweaks, not full roster changes. Well, let's find out. Maybe we're going to get some insight here, because I'm pretty sure, yes, we do have an interview now ready with Fleta and Danny. So let's go to that. Similar Hex, thank you very much. Everybody, make some noise for Fleta and Soul Dynasty. Congratulations on your victory, and congratulations on making it into the Stage 3 playoffs. Now, because Soul Dynasty isn't going to be in Atlanta homestand, you guys have about a week to prepare for the playoffs. Fleta, what are you guys going to do in order to actually win Stage 3 playoffs this time around? Uh, 아무래도 일단 승리 너무 축하드리고요. 또 많은 지금 서울 팬분들이 계신데 일단 손 한번만 흔들어 주세요. <laughs> Shake hands, yeah, a lot of, lot of Seoul fans. Uh, stage 3 우승을 위해서 지금 일주일, 정, 일주일 정도의 기간이 있는데 어떻게 하면 은 어, 우승을 위해서 좀 준비를 잘할 수 있을까요? 어, 아무래도 저희는 저번에 홈 스테이지를 갔다 와서 이번에는 안 가는데 그동안 좀더 휴식도 가지면서 좀 재정비를 잘 해서 최대한 연습을 좀잘 하는 해서 어, 네, 그렇게 될것 같아요. <웃음> Alrighty, so because we're in Dallas, we are unfortunately not going to be in Atlanta. So we have about a week. So what we're going to do is, you know, take a take a break, get some rest, and also prep and practice really hard in order to win Stage Three playoffs. How how sure are you that you could be you could win Stage Three playoffs? 얼마나 가능성 있다고 보십니까? 서울이 Stage 3 우승 out of ten 한 십, 십이, 십이 우승이면은 몇 퍼센트 정도? 어 그래도 저는 한 70% 이상은 보고 있어요. 70%, 70%. So, so fast, you guys, yeah, you guys think so too? Alrighty. Well, talking about playoffs also, I just want to ask, is there an opponent or a team that you guys are really looking forward to defeat in Stage 3 playoffs? Uh, playoff에서 그러면은 좀이 팀은 정말 서울이 이기고 싶다 하는 팀이 있다면 어떤 팀이 있나요? 어, 사실 저희가 항상 모든 경기, 마지막 경기가 단두대 매치인 경우가 많은데 그 이유가 좀 항저우전에서 항상 고전하다가 좀 져가지고 항저우를 좀 많이 이기고 싶어 하거든요. 저희 팀원들도. 그래서 아마 플레이오프 때 아마 항저우를 확률 한, 만날 확률 높은 것 같은데 항저우를 꼭 이기고 싶어요. So the team that we really want to defeat is Hangzhou Sparks because not only did we lose to them, but it was a really close match that we could have won and a lot of our teammates really want to defeat them again. And there's also a high chance that Seoul Dynasty will be facing off Hangzhou Sparks. So I'm really looking forward to defeating them in the playoffs. Alrighty, thank you so much, Fleta, and congratulations again. Casters, back to you guys. Thank you very much, Danny. And just so happy to see Fled up back in the mix. Whatever he's played, you know, it's good to see the man back on stage. Fled is meta. There you go. As always, consistent. You know who else has been a real outstanding player in this current meta? Who's that? Our player of the match, presented by Owen by HP. Marvel! Man getting the work done today. Hex, you had a lot to say about him in terms of his versatility. Marvelous performance today. He played everything and he played it all really well. There was no glaring weakness of like, oh, he can't play Orisa. Oh, he can't play Hammond when they want to play these different compositions. But also, I think it's really important for him to come out and have a good game after... Now he knows he's just going to be playing all the time. They were rotating rosters with Fissure and him before, but now it's his show. Marvel, it's your time to shine, your time to make the name on it. Yeah, even played a little bit of the Junkrat here. It's a nice kill early on, so the versatility and just being able to play as many different tank heroes as he did, I thought was impressive. Yeah, the last map is kind of garbage time, but does Winston look good in garbage time? You know, everyone still wants to win the fourth map, and he got a ton of kills going on. I thought his Winston was good, his Reinhardt was good, his Orisa and Hammond were serviceable, so you can run any sort of direction you want if you're the Soul Dynasty. And you certainly have the players to back him up. That's going to be the important thing in terms of standing out. Damage, he got Fleta. As you said, always the meta. What else is coming up next? The watch point. We're not done with the show here, guys. We're going to the watch point post show. We have a pre show, and then we bookend it with the post show at the end of the day. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but Hex will not be on it today. But Rockus will be there. But Rockus will be there. It's going to be hype. It's going to be fun. You don't want to miss it. So we're taking a quick break, and we'll come back with watch watch point after that.
The Overwatch League is brought to you by Toyota, official North American partner of the Overwatch League. Toyota, let's go places. What's up, dude? Remember when we used to carpool the land parties? Dude, we've come so far. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some Overwatch. 